How's it going, you guys? AZ Palio 21 back again with another episode of our UFC Save UFC Reborn here on WMMA 5, and it is UFC Fight Night Muhammad versus Rachmanov. Now, in real life, as I'm recording this, literally today, it was just announced that Leon Edwards will be defending his crown against Bilal Muhammad, but here in the save, Bilal Muhammad is fighting Shavkot, which is a lot more interesting in my opinion because I feel like Shavkat would absolutely destroy him. Um, with that said, the last time that I saw you guys, we had uh, Tom Aspinall beat up on Tai Tui Vasa. In our main events in the heavyweight division, we are leading up towards UFC 302, Prohaska versus Lewis. A rather lackluster pay-per-view card, if I'm being honest. You do have Nick Diaz, Tony Ferguson on the card. Patty Pimblett, I guess, is cool. Prohaska's refusing to really fight people and i did actually just have another fighter kind of big league me and i think i have made the decision that i am actually going to turn on fantasy matchmaking now <clears throat> what i don't want to happen is for it to ignore the injuries so if it ignores injuries and it ignores no contact suspensions i'm not gonna i'm not gonna i'm gonna turn it back on but if the injuries stay the same and like the re like recuperation times they stay the same, then I'm gonna rock with it because there's no reason that champions should be refusing to fight anybody. You know, um, there's just no reason. Like I'm always going to want to get the higher popularity fighters fighting each other because that's just good for business, right? But when it comes down to it, if there's an aging superstar who's on like a three fight losing streak, they have no reason to be rejecting any fights whatsoever in my opinion. So, yep, <clears throat> gonna be turning that on um, from here on out, because uh, that fight card is atrocious. Uh, after that, we got UFC 303, O'Malley versus Sanhagen. Three title fights on that one. Uh, Bantamweight, O'Malley versus Sanhagen, obviously. Flyweight, Moreno versus Roy Vall. Strawweight, Rose Namajunas versus Tatiana Suarez. And this is what I was talking about. This is gonna be a great fight card either way. But for the Women's Flyweight Championship, we're going to have Alexa Grasso taking on Weili Zhang. She's going to defend her title against Zhang Weili. Zhang Weili is coming off a loss to Thug Rose for the for the title, for the uh, strawweight title. But Grasso is refusing to fight her actual contender in Manon Fior. We need the title defended, so Zhang Weili is up next. I imagine Zhang will probably beat Alexa Grasso. At which case, maybe a rematch, maybe Fior gets the next next, next shot. You never know. <clears throat> but that's what's going to happen there. Hamzat Shemaev is also going to be fighting Jeff Neal to defend his welterweight title. John Jones had no problems fighting Sergey Spivak, which I thought was hilarious because never in a billion trillion years would John Jones fight Sergey Spivak. Okay, so with that said, let's go ahead and get right down to it. A UFC Fight Night Muhammad versus Rakhmanov. But first, let me make sure that this shit is on TV. Let me go ahead and just run through that really quickly. Uh, no, not on pay-per-view. There we go. Hope you guys are having a great day. Um, obviously, I imagine this is going to be June as you guys see it. But I am currently... Uh, okay. I'm currently in mid-May. I am a little bit sick, so forgive me if I sound rather stupid. But, uh, you know, sometimes sniffles get the better of you. Hope you guys are all being safe and healthy, though. ESN. And wow, 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 wow. Okay, cool. So let's go and get it going. Muhammad versus Rachmanov. We got Shamil Gasanov undefeated, making his UFC debut, I believe. Yep. Against Hussein Ashkabov at 145. And it's Ashkabov getting the brother his first loss of his career via decision. 25 and 1, Ashkabov is. He is equally as impressive, if not more so. 25 and 1. That's incredible. John McDessie taking on David Tamer at 155, which is, of course, the lightweight division. Remember, we're going to be doing a. Super lightweight division, which is going to be 165, and then welterweight will be moving to 175, middleweight 185. At some point, I'm going to probably want to do a super middleweight division, which is what I was starting to get around to in my previous UFC save. The idea is super middleweight 195, light heavyweight 205. Maybe 
a cruiserweight division of like 220 or 225 or something like that but i don't know if there's too many people that would actually qualify for that weight class you know remains to be seen max Payne griffin taking on rude boy randy brown at 175 and it's griffin who gets the tko on rude boy here today 20th win of his career gerald mearshart taking on brian battle former ultimate fighter winner i believe Is that yeah that's what it says winner of the 29th season of the ultimate fighter and it's battle getting the knockout on gm3 here today wisconsin zone takes a beating umar c takes on maxim grishin at light heavyweight and it is c who gets it done via decision here today he's now 2-0 in his young ufc career after coming in from ksw the france native Amdi Abdel Wahab taking on Jamal Pogues. Pogues 11 and 4. Make that 11 and 5 as Abdel Wahab gets the win. And he is now 2 and 1 in his young UFC career. Sam Hughes taking on Vanessa Demopoulos. This is the former, I think, stripper who was uh, getting all up on Joe Rogan. And Sam Hughes puts her in her place. They now have the same record at 9 and 6 after Sam Hughes wins by decision. Uh, Daria. Zeleshna Kyakova takes on Ioni Razafierson at 135, and it's Zeleshna Kyakova who gets the win here today. Tenth win of her career and a big win in her UFC debut. Love to see that for Daria. Diana Belbita taking on Victoria Leonardo at 125, and it's Belbita getting the TKO win in less than 75 seconds. Laveth Young taking on Piera Rodriguez at 115. 10 and 1 is Rodriguez, and she loses to Young here today via unanimous decision. Young getting the win in her UFC debut. Makoto Takahashi taking on CJ Vergara in the flyweight division on the first main card fight. Takahashi, young man out of Japan, high level regional, making his second UFC appearance, coming off a win over Ray Suruya, and it is Takahashi. Getting the win, rear naked choke in round number one. The young man is on fire. Guram Katataladze taking on Joaquim Silva at 155. And we have Guram Katataladze, the Georgian, getting it done in round number three. A knockout win for him. He's now 4-1 and one in his UFC career with a three-fight winning streak going on as well. Alex Morono, remember he had that big win over Cowboy, takes on Christian Lee, former uh, 1FC royalty, who is making his... UFC debut. You can see their former one champion takes on the Great White, and Christian Lee gets the TKO win in round number two. Walt Harris takes on Chris Barnett. I know Walt Harris just got, I want to say, arrested for something. Or, or maybe he just got popped for PEDs. I'm not sure. Anyways, Chris Barnett missed weight at heavyweight, which is ridiculous. He is a huge underdog, and he gets TKO'd in 27 seconds. Chris Barnett is probably getting cut. Sorry to say. He's a lot of fun, and Harris retires. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wins in that fight. Everybody loses. Everybody goes home and dies. And Josh Silvera takes on Iwan Kutelaba in our co-main event. Silvera, I believe, former PFL champion. Yep, former PFL champion out of Miami, Florida. Want to know in his UFC career really quickly. Takes on Iwan Kutelaba, who's coming off a loss to Azamat Mirzakhanov. It is our co-main events, and it is Kutelaba knocking out Silvera in round number three. Okay, so dispatching of the PFL former champion and calling out Impa Kasanganai. Brings us to our main event of the evening. Bilal, you cannot remember the name, Muhammad taking on Shavkat Rachmanov. Undefeated still. 6-0 in his UFC career. Went over Wonder Boy is all that he's got going for him in this save. On the other side, you have Bilal Muhammad, who is coming off a win over Mike Chiesa. Winner of this fight might get a title shot. Not 100% sure, but it is our main event of the evening. It is a huge fight as we get going here today. Wicked right uppercut. Muhammad is knocked down. Immediately raining down punches. 20 seconds. 20, 33 seconds, ladies and gentlemen. Shavkat Rachmanov knocks off Bilal. What is his name, Muhammad? Via TKO. Unbelievable. 
Nearly 2,000 in attendance in Washington. Commercial rating of 67. Admittedly, not the greatest. Popularity is unchanged, though. That is fine. Uh, let's see. Fights of the Night. Nothing really on the, on the prelim. So let's go and give it to uh, Kutataladze and Joaquim Silva, of course. Giving our boy Shopcott a nice 50k alongside Walt Harris as he retires. Still made a nice little profit on that fight. Kutataladze, highest paid fighter along with Walt Harris. Appreciate you guys as always. I'm AZ Plyo 21 Shopcott dispatches of Bilal in less than 35 seconds. I will see you guys at the fights.